Christmas Day in the Philippines is primarily a family affair. Filipinos welcome the seasons uniquely, with different flavors and traditions that make Christmas extra special. Christmas is a time where Filipinos are reminded of their sense of community and family. Apart from the food, celebrations, lights, music, time spent with family and friends during this time is the most important. The Christmas season gradually starts from September to December and ends in the third or fourth week of January. It is celebrated for almost half a year, four months, and three to four weeks or five months. The perennial family favorite, SM Malls, is pulling out all the stops to usher in a fabulous season for all the Filipinos. A series of glittering public events saw the unveiling of Christmas trees and various holiday surprises across SM Malls. The anticipation for this Yuletide spectacles had revelers arriving in droves. Many families have included mall festivities in their yearly traditions with Christmas tree and veilings marking the start of their countdown to the holidays. It's the most wonderful time of the year and SM Super Malls light in the city with simultaneous Christmas tree lightings. You know, the holiday season has officially begun in the Philippines when malls are blasting Christmas medleys and mounting giant trees bedecked with sparkly trimmings in their premises. It has become a symbol of the season, conveying the message of love, unity, and joy as family and friends come together to take a photo of or with these gorgeous centerpieces. But one thing I noticed, the immediate construction of Edsa Busway, or known as Edsa Carousel, helped the commuters to ride a bus easily because of the systematic procedures and discipline. The Edsa Busway, also known as Edsa Carousel, is a bus rapid transit or BRT system in Metro Manila. Entering operations began on June 1, 2020, to augment MRT Line 3 when Metro Manila is placed under general community quarantine and full operations begun on July 1, 2020. This busway system runs between MCU Median Stop at San Monumento and Pitex. The fares, well, the regular fare is 13 pesos for the first 5 kilometers and 2.20 or 2 pesos and 20 centavos for every succeeding kilometer. Now on the schedule, MCU medium stop at San Monumento to Pitex uh, runs from 4 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily from Mondays to Sundays. There are 16 bus stops in the Edsa Carousel Road. These are Monumento, Bagong Barrio, LRT Balintawak, Kaingin Balintawak, LRT Munoz, SM North or MRT North Avenue, MRT Quezon Avenue, Napa Q Mart, Main Avenue, MRT Santolan, MRT Ortigas, MRT Guadalupe, Ayala Avenue, Taft Avenue, SM Mall of Asia, and Paranaque Integrated and Terminal Exchange. The Department of Transportation released the seven commandments for drivers, conductors, and passengers to avoid further transmission and spread of COVID-19 virus inside a bus. The seven commandments are as follows. Number one, wear your face mask and face shield. No talking and answering phone calls. No eating inside. Proper ventilation is required. Frequent disinfection is required. 
No symptomatic passengers are allowed to ride a bus and observe appropriate physical distancing. In addition, other health protocols such as temperature checks, hand washing with alcohol or hand sanitizer, and contact tracing are still in effect. To eliminate the transmission of COVID-19 virus, the cashless payment transaction in riding the bus with beep card tap in tap out from AF Payments Incorporated is highly encouraged. Same health protocol is also applied in MRT stations. I headed over to the streets of Gapo to see if there were any worthwhile changes over there too. And behold, I got an answer as soon as I stepped off the train and look over from the platform. The main streets are now clutter free and seem wider than they were before. Underneath the railway, stalls that were once blocking the thoroughfare are gone. I proceeded to stroll around the alleys leading to Gapa Church, including Carriado Hidalgo, Villa Lobos, and Palanga and found fewer obstructions along the way. Even Plaza Miranda was free from all the usual vendors taking up space in front of the church entrance. I explored a bit farther to the narrow side streets and to my surprise, even the stalls there were now more organized for pedestrians to pass through more easily. It was also visible that several policemen and safety officers were on patrol in, the, in that area and that a lot of people were still busy cleaning up the streets. It's never a bad sign, right? These developments can all abode well for motorists as the cleared up roads will definitely help decongest traffic, not just in Divisoria and Cabo but in surrounding areas as well. We have yet to know if this results will last. For now, we'll just have to wait and see. So guys, this is Mr. G. Thank you very much for watching my video. Good luck everyone. Be safe all the time. God bless and thank you very much. Someone who is